What's up everybody? I'm Slot, a movie guy, and here's my movie review of Bohemian Rap CD, directed by Brian Zinger, who I guess you say gets credit for this film because they switched directors and Dexter Flincher took over. Anyways, in this film stars Rami Malik and the rest of the other cast and crew. And in this film, a chronicle of the years leading up to Queen's legendary appearance at the Live Aid 1985 concert. Basically, this is like about Freddie Mercury and how the Queen rock band got together with the fame and the success and the years where they made music. And I went, I was very excited for this movie because I love all the songs from the Queen rock band. I like We Are the Champions, especially like when my team wins. I love hearing that song. It's like, it, it's very, it to me, it's like motivation. Like, it's, it's like greatness and stuff. When I hear that, it's like something like it's fresh. It's it's perfect. So I love like we will rock you. I'll elaborate more on that about in this review. But all I say is I really enjoyed this movie. This movie was really really. I thought it was a good movie. It's that there's really a lot of good things about this movie. Let's start off with the storyline. Storyline is the thing I really look at in biopic movies when it comes to like singers and stuff or anything else. I find those things look in, find those things very interesting. And the storyline here is interesting because we get to see the where Freddie Mercury sees this band and stuff like in during the film and then, then he gets together with this band. I really like felt that very interesting. And the movie does that very well because we get to see like we get because like if you see a biopic, you get to see how these like these singers or anybody how they get how how this stuff really happens in real, in their life and stuff. And this is like real like this is what really happened. And I really enjoyed how they influenced and showing what what Freddie Mercury went through and how the rock band how they create these songs like in the studios and stuff. This. Things about that is one of the things I really loved about this film. And I think that really, what really makes it work is the performances. Because the performance is really, really good here. And when we see, like, what Freddie Mercury's going through, like, in a relate, like, he's in a relationship, then his sexuality stuff comes about. And I really thought they executed that well in this film of showing Mercury's life and stuff. And him coming with when he having AIDS and stuff, because he did go through some dark stuff in, it, in in life. And I thought the film really does well of showing us the Freddie Mercury and his life and the rock band where where they performing and stuff like through the seventies to the eighties and stuff. And they do show that in this film. And I thought that was two thumbs up. Let's talk about the style in this film. The style in this film is one of the things I think they really captured from the 70s and 80s. And I thought that was really, really good because I would like to be in you know, the mood of what the the setting of the 70s and 80s. Because it makes it, it shows us what it looks like. And I don't like things where movie Jews like stuff that's in our world today. I like to see like if it's set in the 70s and 80s. And I thought that was done well. And the makeup of the rock band and the wigs and stuff, it looked like these people look like the the Queen rock band. Freddie Mercury looks like Freddie Mercury. The Rami Malek looks like Freddie Mercury. So I thought that was really done well though, with the the mustache and the the hair and all the the, the clothes, the stuff they wear. It matches. It blends like you would see people from the seventies and eighties. They did that perfectly well, and I really enjoyed that part about this movie. Those are the storyline and the style is really great. But the, what one thing that really surprised about this movie is the acting. Everybody does good, like Mike Myers does good. I forgot the character he played in his movie, can't quite remember. And but let me talk about Rami Malik. Oh my goodness, he was he was Freddie Mercury. This guy blew. B b he blew me away with his performance as Freddie Mercury. He was excellent as he really embodied this guy. He really embodied the 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 singer, the lead singer of Queen. He did a phenomenal job. He 
this is this is Oscar worthy performance. This is the best performance I've seen out of an actor this year of 2018. I mentioned other actors that did good this year, but this one is really great. What I think that's why I think the storyline really worked around. He really made the storyline work because his performance was so great. And when when he's dealing with his what when, when we see Freddie Mercury that the ends out of his life and stuff in this movie. He really actually performs that very well. And the situation that Freddie Mercury goes through, he does a phenomenal job. He really, I can tell that Rami Malek really put some heart in this movie. He really does a phenomenal freaking job. There's a lot to talk about him. Like, he, he, he did Oscar worthy for him. If, if this not, if he's not in a debate, something is wrong. I'm just saying something's wrong. And I, don't know. That's that's all I'm gonna say. He does a really good, great job. And the, like I said, the other cats they do well. Everybody buys like Ben Hardy plays one of the the Queen rock band singers, and he does he does really actually good too. There is a lot of great performances here that I think people really put their hearts in it, and that's all I can say. They did a phenomenal job. Now for my mid picks and flaws for the movie. I felt like the first act of like 20, I think it was like 20, 30 minutes of the movie, there was a couple of parts that I wanted to see like stretched out because there were some parts I, since I, I enjoyed the story, I want to see more like to a deep love to Freddie Mercury's life. Cause you know, there was some stuff that happened. I wanted to see them go more in depth of. That's the one of the parts I wanted to see like really get into it. And I would have been like more invested in the first beginning. Which I was already invested in the first beginning of the movie because they showed some stuff where Freddie Mercury went through. I just wanted to see it go like a little bit like stretched out so I can like feel like say okay. But by the by when it got to like a like a, like an hour to it like close to like an hour, that was the one of the strongest parts of the movie, and I thought they went like all in on it on um, the the writing of it. They went all in the the the. The, about an hour of it, and that was like one of the best parts of the movie. The hour. Now, the first twenty minutes was like the got was like the hour of the movie going straight through. That would have been like wow, mind blowing, spectacular. Which the movie is good. I just wanted to see that first beginning part. I forgot to mention this: the performance in the end. It felt like I was there, and I and I'm a I'm a I'm a nineties uh kid, so. When I I'm I'm the early '90s, so but I didn't I didn't grow up in the '70s or '80s. But the live concert in the end was like wow, I'm in it. I was so like that was the ending parts I really liked about the film. It really like captures like the the moment of it, like you was actually there. So that's one of the things I did like, and one of the flaws that like I said, the flaws I had with the film. But that was one of the things I did like in, in uh, uh, that film. Overall, this is a film I think people should check out. Like, if you're a big fan of The Queen, you should check this movie out. They have the songs in here, the music that you will enjoy. Because the, the music here is great. That I say, if you heard the music, like in your cars and stuff, or your iPod MP3s, you will enjoy the music here. It's a blast here. It's, it, it fits the movie. The the pacing is not bad here. The pacing is actually great for a two-hour and 15-minute movie. So I say this movie is a blast. Just go see it with boyfriends, girlfriends. Go check this movie out. If you're a bit, if you're a big fan of the Queen, then you will you will definitely love this film. And I'm gonna give this film an A minus. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about the movie. What you think about it. What what you didn't like or not or like? Let me know. I would love to know. And tell me, where's your favorite bio pick when it comes to like to like a person or a musician or anything? If it was me, I'll say Trade Out of Compton is one of my favorite ones in recent years. That's a good movie. If you're old enough, I recommend you checking it out because it's about Ice Cube and N.W.A. So if you're old enough, check it out. If you're not. I, <laughs> Don't. It's it's really a good movie. I recommend it too. That's one of the best ones about the rap group. So when you have time, just check it out.
Anyways, guys, if you like this video, click thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, click subscribe and the bell button. That's why I can see you next time on Slide the Movie Guy. Peace.